Average Engineers. I just wanted to just do just a couple minute video really quick on a recent article I wrote on that kind of got a lot of attention on my sub stack. I'll leave, leave a note to it in the comments. It was called DuckDB versus Polar's Thunderdome 16 gigabyte challenge on a 4 gigabyte machine. Okay, so what the article was about was taking two very popular data tools today, Polar's based on Rust and DuckDB. It's C++ or C, whatever. Both very fast, very great. People kind of butt them up against each other, you know. I mean, technically, they're not the same thing, but they can use for a lot of the same thing. A lot of SQL people love DuckDB because it's pure SQL. Um, it's kind of a strange tool. It's just mostly in memory. It's just like a short-lived in, you know, supposedly in process, processing Um Versus Polars, which is more of like a complete end-to-end -end data engineering tool, data frame tool, similar to Spark or Pandas. Not exactly the same, but similar. And basically what I talked about in this article was I took 16 gigabytes of data in S3, and I put both these tools on a 4 gigabyte memory machine. So larger than memory, 4 gigabytes of memory on the machine. I had 16 gigabytes in cloud storage in S3. And processed polars and then processed DuckDB. The long of the story short is that polars can do this. It took about three minutes. It processed it. Awesome. I expected it. Polars is a great tool. DuckDB supposedly can do larger than memory stuff, but it failed long and short. And I tried many settings. You can go look at the post. Many settings I actually found on GitHub where DuckDB people are complaining about the same thing, opening up issues, hey, out of memory thing, why isn't this working, using all these settings, and basically they're getting closed, those issues are getting closed, kind of sweeping it under the rug, DuckDB style. DuckDB is a nice tool, but it's got a ways to go, because if you're going to use it for real data engineering work, what are you going to spin up a one terabyte machine every time you want to do something in memory? That costs a ton of money. You need, com you need stuff that runs on commodity hardware with lower memory usage ram it needs to be able to lazily execute that stuff like polars process a lot of data that you don't need all that memory for because it's very expensive you know duckdb come on what are you going to do you're going to spin up a massive ec2 instance with a ton of ram that stuff's super expensive just to run a query so you can get a millisecond or 10 milliseconds or save a minute of processing time if that that's not going to happen. Why would you do that? That's a dumb decision. If you can just use polars on a smaller instance size and pay less and it still processes it super fast, why would I pay way more and have to get an instance with way bigger memory so everything can fit in memory so pull DuckDB can actually work on it? That just doesn't make any sense. DuckDB needs to deal with this issue. They need to work on that. Um, because people are going to run into that and then it's going to backfire on them because sure it's great if you write a blog post and you're doing five gigabytes of gigabytes of data fine but you know that doesn't scale well nobody's working on five gigabytes of data it needs to be able to run on smaller machines on bigger data sets like polars i was a little bit disappointed in DuckDB. definitely go read the article let me know what you thought it's a pretty interesting take but uh i love polars DuckDB needs to step it up Thank you.